everyone, Young Grasshopper here. Welcome to Axonalis Gaming Academy. We're starting a new series right here, right now. It's called Advanced Training. And this is where we get into the Axonalis 1940 Global Experience. So Basic Training Anniversary Edition and Advanced Training, Axonalis 1940 Global, also known as G40. So in order to follow along and play this game, you're gonna need two box games, two. So I'll show you right here the first one you need. That's Axon Allies Europe 1940. The second box game you need. That's Axon Allies Pacific 1940. Now, you can play these games separately on their own, which is a great idea, great fascinating concept by Avalon Hill and Larry Harris to provide these type of in-depth games without going into building the theater games that they did back in the 1990s where they brought out an entire game Pacific, an entire game Europe that were not compatible. This time around, uh, joining Wizards of the Coast back in 2010, I believe, uh, they decided that they were going to release them as separate games that could be played individually as theater games but also brought together with the same board artwork and uh, the same concepts and rules basically to have one gigantic game, global game. Now it comes with two of everything as you might uh, suspect and we're going to get into that in the opening the box later video. Okay, so we're gonna run this series along the same pattern that we've been doing with basic training. So in basic training, we talked about things like the history of Axis and Allies. Um, we talked about, uh, I showed you opening the box. I showed you uh, customizing the box, making it ready, popping everything out. And we got into the setup and taking a look. We're gonna do the exact same thing with these box games. We're gonna show you what you see in the box when you open it up brand new. We're going to show you what it should look like after everything's punched out and everything's organized inside the box. So obviously, we got two box games, okay? We're going to show you how to bring them together. Now, me, myself, I've never been interested in playing uh, any of them separately, like a Europe game or a Pacific game. I've always, always, since 2010, brought them together. So uh, I was playing Anniversary Edition back in 2009, my wife and I. We were in an apartment, tried to get a gaming group together, but it wasn't until we bought a house that I looked around and I saw downstairs that it was significant enough to have some some players over. We had a bathroom. It was it was humble, but definitely more than enough space for me to build a game table and whatnot and invite people over. We didn't have to disturb uh, my wife upstairs. We could just come straight downstairs and play all day. And we had a kitchenette, so a fridge, and we had everything we needed. I had contacted a friend of mine that I actually uh, gamed with once before and uh, we weren't quite friends at that moment but I emailed him because I knew of him coming to my apartment to play once. I said I have a house now, I have a venue but I have no gaming group. What was perfect is he said we have a gaming group but we have no place to play. So I invited them here, we played 1940 global, but I didn't hear about it until I suggested that we play anniversary edition I thought it was the only game out there um, Until he said well, there's a game that just came out two of them bring them together you play uh, Global I never heard of it But um, being the host that I was I had to run out and buy them because I got a new gaming group coming to my house so uh, ran out got those uh, was very interested I was quite happy with Anniversary Edition. I was glad that uh, they came out with something like that. But uh, now a huge experience. I was a little intimidated. Played Italy my first time. I did really well. They had these air bases and naval bases, which were a simple addition, but created a huge dynamic in the game that was just incredible. Um, you could scramble units. You could uh, move pieces extra. Uh, damage capital ships that can now take damage. Um, not just the battleship and anniversary, but now to the um, the aircraft carriers. Lots of significant changes and complexity to definitely get me hooked. So I was more interested in making sure that my gaming group was comfortable in the house, had everything they needed, 
and because I wanted them to come back. Um, the game was interesting, but I wasn't as excited about the game as I was just about, just as uh, I was more excited about people coming and uh, creating this gaming group with me. So that gaming group has been alive all the way to present moment. And people may come and people may go, um, but I have a few people that have been with me all the way from the beginning there in 2010 that played in that first global game that I had here at my new house. I believe uh, seven years, eight years later now, those people that uh, I've known that long have become good, good friends and uh, even picked up a couple of members like Pink Panzer and Wartorn uh, not too late after we got started. So even though they weren't original members, they've been around me and part of my group almost, uh, almost the entire time as well. So we've done a lot of things here at the Cliffside Bunker since uh, um, obviously it's great to have Anniversary Edition again. We never played Anniversary Edition in this house 2010, even though I had the game. It was all about Global 1940. That's how awesome of a game it is. Um, it can be intimidating. Uh, there's some complexity to it, but it's such an epic, epic experience gaming that I think it challenges uh, games like Twilight Imperium 3 or now Twilight Imperium 4. Um, some of the massive games like the space, epic space odyssey games like uh, Eclipse or uh, Blood Rage or anything else that's out there, Zombicide, that is a huge game that require lots of space, lots of pieces, lots of uh, mechanics and whatnot. I think Axis and Allies 1940 Global 2nd Edition is right up there with all these um, self-proclaimed epic games uh, that you can get off the shelf. The only difference is um, why it doesn't have as much prestige and notoriety as some of those other games is because it's divided into two separate boxes. Now, if you go to a gaming store and you grab Twilight Imperium, uh, it's a massive box, it's heavy. Everything that you need to play Twilight Imperium 3 or even now Twilight Imperium 4 that scout is there and you just feel like this has gotta be the most grandest, most complicated, most epic, most time consuming board game in the history of board games. But Axe is 1940 Global, um, it comes in two separate boxes, but you bring them together to play Global. And it's just as massive, just as uh, grand, and uh, the complexity is high and whatnot. But I say that because I'm proud of it. It's my favorite game. I love Axe and Allies, going all the way back to the smallest game, to Anniversary, and now to this big game. Um, and um, I just think that it deserves its place up there with the board gaming phenomenon that's happening right now, uh, where bigger and more expensive and more epic games are coming out. And this game that I love so much doesn't really get the, the credit it deserves. But that's fine. It can be a cult classic game that we enjoy in the basements, uh, knowing that you put these two again, two games together, you get a massive World War II strategy board game. Um, we've been playing for years and years now, at least, at least once a month, but mostly, mostly twice a month we have gaming gatherings here, all the way since 2010. That's the history of my experience with Axe and Allies 1940 Global. And uh, I'm very, very happy and eager to share with you how to open this box, how to bring them together, how to customize the game, how to learn and play the game. And uh, I know a lot of people are disappointed that my past uh, videos are gone, but I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am to start this series, advanced training, and uh, get right back into those, make those old videos even better in my opinion, and uh, to provide something that Axe and Allies players can go to for years and years and years to learn how to play this intimidating game. And uh, I would say don't be intimidated. Uh, we're gonna go through it piece by piece, fraction by fraction, detail by detail, 
I really don't know how long the video series is going to last. This is part one. I really don't know how long basic training is going to last. We're into part six now. Um, but it's important for me, I think, to create these series that run parallel uh, to each other so I can sort of mimic the same type of style that you're going to find in the training of one game in the video training videos of the other game. Um, so I'm very, very happy and excited to introduce this video series. And uh, the next one we're going to get started right into the inbox, uh, right into the unboxing of these uh, new games. Okay, so um, we're going to skip the whole in a nutshell because in a nutshell for this game, there's nothing out there because you can't do it. Um, it there's just too much going on to make a 10 minute, 15 minute video of in a nutshell for what's going on here. Um, but what I want to do, um, because I gave you a little bit of history of my experience with 1940 Global going all the way back to 2010 to present, um, I want to put in the description box of this video the same link to the video from Nerd Out With Me, the two guys uh, talking about their Axe and Allies collection. I think it's essential, essential watching. Such a great, great video. I love it. I love it. Uh, it's amazing that we have a video like this of uh, those two fellas. Uh, the one, obviously, a huge Axe and Allies fan showing off his collection. Um, talking about when these games came out. His experience when they came out. Um, he, his collection is amazing, amazing. And I'm going to put in the description box of this video a link directing you to that video. Which I did also in the history video and basic training. So... Axis now is 1940 Global History Orientation, uh, wrapping this up. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun. Uh, love it. So get those games, okay? But get Anniversary Edition first. If you don't have either, get Anniversary Edition first. It's a very, very significant game to have. If you love 40 so much and the complexity and you want to handle the complexity and Anniversary is too simple for you, then go ahead and get the 1940 Europe and Pacific if you don't have it, um, specifically for getting through this video series. Now, I don't know how long Anniversary Edition is going to be out. Um, it would be a crime for them to stop publishing it um, and call it limited again. Uh, but it's a possibility. I, I'm not sure if they have plans to stop the run or not. Um, but here in Advanced Training, it's all about the big, epic global game of 1940 my favorite Axis and Allies edition by far and uh, there's so many customizations needed in this so engineer training is going to be filled chock full of um, additions replacements um, creations files that I'm going to share with you just on what I've done to my G40 experience over the years and I'm going to share all that with you guys in engineer training so uh, thanks a lot guys, appreciate it, and look out for the next one. We're going to do an unboxing. I don't know if I'm going to split it into uh, a single unboxing of Europe and then a different video, single unboxing of Pacific, or do it all in one video, but that's what's coming up next. And uh, Awesome, cheers, and thanks for the comments, thanks for the likes and the shares. Really appreciate it. Happy New Year, guys, and uh, may all your roles be ones in 2018. Cheers.